you, what, what I love about your career is you have transitioned multiple times. You're a promo person, you're an artist, you're a radio host, two-time Grammy Award winner, and now you're doing it again. So much of the world has changed because of COVID. So mm -hmm. much of, of what we knew to be norm, to be the status quo, to be how we earned a living, it's been flipped upside down. And so okay. many people are transitioning and I'm watching you transition and I love what you're doing with your interviews and your IG lives and the way that you are, are having these candid conversations with your guests. Can you just speak to someone out there who maybe they don't believe in themselves, maybe they don't understand that they could be great doing something else, something that they really want to do, but maybe they're not known for it. You, you, know, you are known, obviously, for making some of the greatest party records of all time. You work <laughs> with, with Missy Elliott, you work with uh, Mariah Carey, Faith Ever, just so many. But this is a new endeavor for you. But people are always afraid of change. Can you talk to anybody out there who wants well, to make that leap of faith, but they're just afraid? I, I, I'm, I will tell you this. I, when I, when I tell you that I travel the world, I get on a plane like people get on the BX-11 bus. Whatever the bus is in your city that goes from the east side to the west side or wherever it goes, I get on planes like people get on buses. At the airlines, I know every flight attendant, especially on the routes that I go, New York to London. I know everybody. I know the fucking pilots. Like, that's how much work that, that's how much I do this. I travel to over 100 countries a year. The only countries I haven't been to is Mexico and like maybe like Guam or some shit. Like in Guam is America. Oh, but I, you, did you just say you haven't been to Mexico? I haven't been to Mexico. All of these exotic countries that you've been to, you've never been to Cancun. You've I've been never been to Cancun. I've never been to Colombia. I've never been to, um, I went to Belize one time. I went to Brazil. Okay, um, just, just finish your story like, in the interest of time. Just, just finish this story. I, I'm shocked that by way. that. Anyway, um, to, to, to say what I was saying, I, I now am in this position where my entire life is cut down. And there's a level of fear there because I make a lot of money. I do okay. But now I go from thousands and thousands a month to zero. So when I get, I come back from England, when, when they, they do the repatriation flights, you got to come back home. You got to come back to America. And I'm in my, I'm in my bed in, on March 8th, March 11th or March 12th or something. And I'm, I said, you know something I've been running for 20 years every week, 49 weeks a year for 24 years. I'm going to take a three-day rest. I rest for three days. Then I get up and I say, okay, well, what now? I said, I got to do something and I got to change the game. I said, I do radio. I said, I always wanted to have my own morning show. I said, when I had a morning show, I had a morning show with Miss Jones, but it didn't work because I didn't have the guts to stand up to management and tell them what the fuck I really need to do. I did it their way. And because of that, it fucking failed. Okay, that's why Star and Buck Wild worked because they went in there. It's different when you when you work for somebody and you're used to getting a check every week. You have a different level of fear because you don't want to ruffle the feathers because you don't want to get fired. Star and Buck Wild had no. They were they were they do what like we do. They were entrepreneurs. They coming from the street, so they had no problem saying, "Listen, if you don't want me to do this the way I'm gonna do it, then fuck you and get me the fuck out." Of here. I didn't have that kind of level of you know, of, of, of guts to do that because I was used to getting the check. Huh? Of confidence in yourself. I didn't have a confidence in myself to say, listen, this is the way we're going to do it. All the shit that they were doing in the morning, cursing on our show, I was doing that shit at night. But but I let somebody talk me out of the plan that I should have done. However, um, I said, okay, well, what can I do? I said, well, the only thing that's available right now is Instagram Live. I said, fuck it, let me go on and do Instagram Live. I had just put up a 
a backdrop the week before because I said, when I come back, I'm going to start playing with the Instagram live. It was there. Boom, I got on. Start doing it. Start doing it. Start doing it. I'm, I'm grabbing everybody I can. DMX, Missy Elliott, boom, 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 boom. I'm having amazingly hot, right? Then I have a dip because... You now run out of almost people to interview. There's, you know, there's maybe a few people that I haven't interviewed. Jamie Foxx, the people I haven't interviewed is Jamie Foxx, Shaq, Kevin Hart, and that's it. Like, you know, and those are three people, the biggest people that I haven't interviewed yet. But you run into uh, a, a law where everybody who's wanted to be interviewed has been interviewed, right? All right, cool. So what you gonna do now? You can't go with the celebrity factor. You gotta switch it up. You got to get back to your talents, which is making motherfuckers laugh and doing shit like that. So I switched the game. I was just like, yo, I'm going to make my show funny. I'm going to make my show like a morning show. I'm going to talk, talk subjects. I'm going to do my shit. I'm going to do the shit my way. And I'm, I'm eight months in, right? So in that eight months, there were three contemporaries of mine. Kenny Burns, Fat Joe, and myself. Those are the three shows that I know that do what we do, right? So in that time, Kenny, Kenny Burns got a job on radio in V103. Shout out to and Kenny Fat Burns. Joe, you know, because, huh? Shout to Kenny Burns. Yeah, shout to Kenny Burns. And Fat Joe, because of the superstar he is, he, 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 he could do huge things. He got Puff, Puff Daddy's attention. He got Puff's attention. Boom, he's on Revolve, right? So I'm sitting here and I'm waiting for my moment to get my call. And that moment's not coming. It's not coming, you know. It's not coming, you know. Like it's not coming. Every day I'm like, it's not coming. It's, it's not coming. It's not coming. Like nobody's calling. So I say to myself, one day I have a conversation with myself, and I said, "Listen, you right back to where you were in '94. Do the fucking work. Don't be concerned about getting the biggest artists." Don't be concerned. If you don't get Jamie Foxx, you don't get him. Just whoever you get and you put in front of you, do the best show you can. Make people laugh as much as you can. Ask the best questions you can. And everything else is going to fix itself. And then I, I had a sudden peace in myself. And that's how I work my show right now. I'm starting to get calls. Sponsorship calls. This guy's saying, yo, maybe I'll give you this. Maybe I'll give you that. And I'm going to work this motherfucker until I get a morning show. I'm going to do it one more time. So if y'all think I can do it again, I'm going to do this shit one more time. And But when I come back, and the thing that I want to say that's most important, if you have not, and I'll leave you on this note, we had four or five months and we still have time because some people can't go outside. I do clubs. I can't go back to work until May of next year. So I still have time. If you don't walk out of this pandemic having a new skill, having a new a, a new a new a, a new skill, uh, having a new job, uh, creating a business, you're a fucking loser. You've had the time to put your work in. Now in this time, I've I've worked on this show. I'm trying to create new businesses. God willing, if I do what I need to do, I'm going to come out of this thing with a business, with a radio show. And guess what? I'm going to be Fat Man Scoop. So that means I might make three times the money that I was making back then. But that's because I applied myself. Everybody want the fucking results. You want the Bentley, but you don't want the struggle. You, you can't get the Bentley without the struggle. It's not possible. You, you can't fucking, you can't shortcut the success. Steve Harvey said, if you think that you're going to get into something and you're not going to get scraped up, you're not going to get beat up, you're not going to do this, especially big shit. Little shit, you could go in fucking Dollar General and get a fucking job and just get to work like that. Ain't nothing. But you want to you wanna punch that clock at nine, and you want to leave at five, and that's it. And that's what we expect of you. But if you want the big shit, you're not, you're not, you're going to have to get hurt, man. You're going to have to get bruised. You're going to get scratched up. You're going to get jerked. You're going to get fucked over. You're going to get whatever. You're going to have to put some work in. But if you are, if you are, if you, you're dedicated to the process. When you make it to the end, you won't be a bad motherfucker. That's it. The end. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share.
Peace and love.